presentation of this session. So the title of the, of the paper is on deployment of Eclipse Kuxa as a framework for an intelligent moving test platform for research of autonomous vehicles. And uh, I believe we have uh, Peritti Seppanen as, as a main presenter, and there is also Harri Hirvonsalo also available for the, for the questions, I think. So, Perti, um, I think you are, you are there ready and uh, you can give us your presentation now. You're welcome. Thank you. Thank you. <laughs> I will present shortly myself. Uh, I, have, I have been working at the University of Oulu in the research team M3S about seven years. And before that, I had a long career at uh, Nokia and in, uh, a, in, in a small startup company after that. And um, uh, I, I, my research interests uh, originally were on software startups because, my, because of my background. And now I have been leading a, a, a <coughs> Automotive related project SMAD here at the University of Oulu. Uh, the project was kicked off by our, our chairperson, Pasi, Pasi Kuvaya, a couple of years back. And the project ended at the end of March this year. And uh, what I'm presenting here is a summary of our learnings. And uh, I am supported in this presentation by Harry Hirvansalo, who wrote the actual paper uh, <coughs> with, uh, with, with uh, technical details. Our work here was is such that I, I give the big picture and Harry knows everything is what is worth knowing about our case. I start with sharing my screen and um, uh, you may, the project is SMAD. It is funded by European Regional Development Fund, European Union, the main partner, then Traficom, the Finnish Traffic and Communication Agency uh, was su supporting us business all and all the building technology foundation. The other, other <coughs> found funding bodies were included because this is not only about car, but also the traffic system, about the traffic system in general. It is somehow combining the, the teams of the, of the earlier presentation, the key <coughs> keynote, uh, presentation and the earlier presentation by Sebastian. We did a fairly similar kind of case as, as Sebastian and his team did. And um, in my presentation, I have, I cover shortly those topics, background, vision, goal, and plan. Uh, I summarize the work steps from the viewpoint of design science research. Uh, some findings related to, to, to the CUXA system, deployment of the results, conclusions, and some remarks on open source. This map project was uh, fully internal for our university. We had eight research units, and most of them were focusing on sensors and uh, vehicle to environment communication. Our research team was focusing on software, which is our main area of interest. Uh, the, the moving test, test platform in uh, shortly, it, it is the, <clears throat> the goal was to use the vehicle as a research device and a carrier of other research devices. Uh, our goal was to build a system supporting software research 
and the whole project has a long-term goal to support uh, local automotive software development, also outside the research context. It meant that we did uh, lots of cooperation with uh, uh, with uh, <coughs> business Olo and Olo Automotive Cluster, uh, which was uh, yesterday presented by Eya. And um, uh, we saw that this Eclipse cooks up deployment as continuity to the oh excuse me obstacle project which was also <coughs> led here at, at our university by passing uh, the system structure looks like this fairly similar to that what uh, sebastian also presented earlier we had a toyota toyota car SUV car as the as the moving test platform or carrier, and we were utilizing fairly similar parts. But in in this Dias case, and uh, we built a, a in vehicle a subsystem and a cloud server subsystem. Uh, Mikael Saarinen will follow. Uh, also this presentation and take a look in, in the poster presentation on to the details of some details of our our solution. Uh, Kuksa looks like this. <coughs> uh, you you possibly not many of us know about that and what we we it has this in vehicle platform and cloud platform and also IDE, which is divided between the cloud and a local term, <coughs> terminal. We didn't utilize the whole uh, Kuxa, but it was we, we built a, 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 a system adjusted to the goals of the smart project. The reason was to build software core for this moving test platform supporting the <coughs> other research teams in their, their uh, research targets. And uh, we, we plan to start with a small case, uh, giving functionality to building functionality for data transfer from the car to the cloud. And uh, we did it in in this order: cloud software, in vehicle software, and integration of those those to the system. So, <clears throat> uh, from the design science research uh, point of view, I pick up here this relevance cycle and design cycle. And relevance cycle was identifying the requirements and assessing the focus to the smart project targets and learning the Kuxa platform. Uh, design science uh, cycle, design cycle included configuration and integration of the cloud and configuration and development in the in-vehicle system. There is a sm small difference between those. Uh, <coughs> we, we needed to develop some, some additional functionality for the in-vehicle system and, and uh, build the, build the uh, <coughs> physical hardware Integra and integration the system to the test car. And as you can see, we covered, covered this um, from Kuxa, this cloud platform and in-vehicle uh, plat platform. The rest of the Kuxa, Kuxa platform was not utilized. What we found related to Cooks and its uh, how to deploy it, uh, <coughs> most of the functionality that was provided by Cooks in the in vehicle uh, middleware layer of the in vehicle subsystem was not utilized. Uh, we were using the same 
vehicle abstraction layer wall as Sebastian did and his team did and and uh, in a very sim same way uh, we used to uh, use the same mechanisms to transform vehicle manufacturer specific canvas messages to to VSS level signaling. Also, we simplified this uh, Kuxa Cloud App Store was outside of the context. Ditto service was also outside of it. And uh, net Hawkbit usage was narrowed down from the original Kuxa. And uh, even in this uh, <coughs> data communication option, even in the earlier picture, uh, about Kuxa, this in vehicle and the cloud platform are shown a bit separately, but the data communication solution of Kuxa is extremely important, of course, because it builds the bridge between the vehicle and the cloud. And uh, we were utilizing the, in the principle, the same similar kind of solution as Sebastian was was uh, Sebastian's team was using MQTT protocol. And um, we disabled the unnecessary protocols in HONO. Uh, the deployment of the results of our work, we see it uh, from the perspective uh, of academia and industry. For the research, uh, it is software giving us new software research opportunities and collaboration possibilities. And uh, we, we are planning to utilize it further as a platform for future automotive related software research. For the industry, uh, we see that it is uh, fostering once again, fostering the open source solutions and as mentioned earlier, cooperation with the <coughs> all based uh, collaboration, collaboration that is that is has also international dimensions to Sweden and Germany. We, we are uh, <coughs> offering a solution, a GUXA based solution for, for the industrial partners. Uh, some uh, conclusions of, of our experiences. Kuxa seems to be a, a framework that is deployable in different case-specific automotive data systems. Uh, the results are similar than, than Sebastian had in, in Dias. Uh, project. It also, uh, to be honest, uh, turned out to be fairly demanding because uh, it, uh, requ it is requiring fairly much uh, low level technical knowledge how to configure, build, and the, use those open source software packages that build up the Kuxa environment. And um, <clears throat> as you can imagine, the easiest part turned out to be the cloud subsystem and the in-vehicle subsystem was the most difficult in, in vehicle subsystem requires also hardware development testing hardware. Sebastian had nice nice uh, photos of, of their, their test vehicle. I don't have in my presentation unfortunately but uh, we had a fairly similar kind of experience and similar kind of setups in our case uh, remarks on open source uh, we <coughs> there was uh, there was in i will refer wall street journal in may 22nd there was a, an article telling that cars become com computers or smart handheld devices with wheels 
and I have a background in in <clears throat> and many many other also them our current chairperson has a background in in uh, at Nokia and in uh, smart device smartphone development and um, uh, as you know Nokia fall a couple of years back and one reason was the the uh, the <coughs> emergency of open source solutions in that area and um, currently currently the uh, as Sebastian took up uh, the cars are very uh, very <coughs> brand uh, specific and uh, proprietary uh, full of proprietary solutions but uh, uh, there seems to be a, 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 an understanding that uh, cars will follow the and vehicles will follow the, the path of uh, smart devices and we see here in all that open source solutions will get uh, get more and more important for that and we are we are supporting that and as as a said earlier we in all have have fairly much automotive related development without having any any manufacturing plant here that is software and we will our goal is to at the Oulu University is support that develop and, and build at this point we are planning to continue with Kuksa, Kuksa and build it further. Thank you for listening to, <coughs> to us. Harry may be the, the person for, for answering technical questions if you have such. Thank you, Peretti. Uh, I see that there are some questions or comments in the chat at the moment. So uh, one, one comment is related to this kind of a learning curve and, and the use of this Kuxa environment for the, for the student projects and uh, I think for the teaching purposes in general. So, so uh, what is your your comment on that, Perti? Possibly, I I will ask uh, Harry, who who was the key person in in, in the actual work and <coughs> faced the challenges of of that learning curve. Yes, hello, <coughs> hello from my part as well. Um, for the learning curve. Uh, things have progressed quite much during the last year, uh, especially this spring. Most uh, there was, well, quite big uh, effort on uh, smoothening the documentation on on, on Eclipse Kuxa related pages and, and uh, material on GitHub. Um, it, it really depends. Um, what do you want to learn from the Kuxa environment? Are you setting up an environment for yourself, or are you offering it, a, it as a service? Um, student projects were mentioned in the question. So, if student projects are focusing on building an, an application utilizing the Kuxa environment, um, I would. I would focus my, uh, let's say, learning efforts on in-vehicle system and uh, APIs, mostly MQTT or APIs provided by Eclipse Hono uh, messaging component in, in, in cloud. It, I don't have a, like a complete answer. Much has improved in, during the last year uh, from regarding to Eclipse Kuxa documentation. I saw, I saw that there was a 
comment from from Sebastian. Uh, yes, I, in in the chat, if if people are looking at it, it's uh, I, I agree. Hooks uh, of as a standalone is is relatively easy. It's uh, maybe it's due to our background in in software and not embedded hardware. Uh, a lack of lack of experience on embedded hardware operations, but. And it starts yes. to be pretty well documented, documented as well. I think. Yes, yes, it is. Project. Yeah, when this, when when we started our effort on August 2020, um, let's say that it's it was a bit hard to identify what is current information, what is what is let's say old information. But yes, I agree. Very very good job on the documentation updates in case there are people uh, responsible for those. Okay, thank you very much. Uh, 